Hi friends, it's Nadi here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you one version of making polauri and these are softer, fluffier and so delicious. Also, I'm going to show you how to make a tamarind sauce to go with it. Together, they make a perfect combination, great for snacking. So friends, let's get started. So friends, this is going to be my blended seasoning. I have garlic, one very, very pepper, that's optional. I have shallot, cilantro, and some scallions. So I'm going to go ahead and blend these. So I have everything needed right here. I have my flour, two cups of all-purpose flour. I have my green seasoning. I have grind dal or um, split piece powder. I also have here salt. I have turmeric powder, jeera powder or cumin powder. I have some baking powder. I also have half a tablespoon of dry activities. I'm going to start by adding my split piece powder, my salt. I'm going to go in with the baking powder and I'm going to give everything a nice mix. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my yeast. And I'm going to add my turmeric and the jeera powder. I'm also adding one teaspoon of sugar just to activate the yeast. So now I'm going to give everything a very nice mix. I'm now going to go ahead and add my green seasoning or my blended seasoning. And now I have a cup of warm water. You know, we need warm water to activate the yeast. So it's like about 100 degree Fahrenheit. So I'm going to start mixing my batter. So I have used the entire cup of water and I'm going to add a, maybe another two tablespoon. And we're going to mix this really well. I am also going to list all the measurement in the description box below. So guys, you want the consistency to be like this. So this batter is looking really good right now. Check your salt. My need a little bit more salt, so I've added some more salt. And this is what my batter looks like. So I'm going to cover this and let it rest for like about an hour. So in the meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and make the tamarind sauce. I'm using the sour tamarind. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to crack the shell and get all the pulp out. You know, you want to remove all the shells and then take the veins off. And I'm going to break them up into small pieces. I'm now going to add some hot water and I'm going to let this rest for like about 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and start to blend my seasoning. I have here cilantro, garlic and pepper. Please use pepper accordingly. I like it spicy. That's why I'm using two whole peppers. So guys, now I'm just going to kind of smoosh this up. So it's nice and all the most of the pulp has been removed. In a pot here, I have two cups of water, which I'm going to add the tamarind inside. So I'm going to let this come to a boil. So once it starts boiling, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my blended seasoning. I am also going to add my salt and sugar. And the sugar will vary depending on how sour your tamarind is and how much pepper you use. So I'm adding here just like about half a cup. I'm also adding half a teaspoon of amchar masala. And this is going to give it a really nice flavor. So now you're going to let it boil and come to a consistency that you want. Friends, I'm going to go ahead and strain mine now. Um, you know, it's not too thick, not too thin. It's just right. So I'm going to pass it through the strainer and remove all the seeds and the unwanted pulp. So you remain with a nice smooth consistency. It has been like about an hour and my polari mixture is nice and risen. So we're going to start frying. I have here some oil and it's nice and hot. It's on medium high heat. 
and I'm using the two spoon method. Um, you know, if you have an ice cream scoop, it's perfect for this, or you can also use your hands. Till now, I haven't got around to got an ice cream scoop, guys. So, um, you know, you can even use your hands, you know, it's just a matter of placing small amount in a circular shape. It does not have to be perfect. So this, the shape of it doesn't matter. So don't get crazy with the shape. I usually don't. So once we place our polari in, you're going to fry it on medium heat and just to ensure it's well cooked and you know, fry it until it's nice and golden brown and then remove it from the oil. So, you know, there are different methods of making polari. Like I know in Guyana, we usually do it with, you know, more dal than flour. So this is a combination. The more dal you use, the denser your polari is going to be. And the more flour you use, it's going to be more softer and fluffier. So friends, very quick tip to avoid your batter sticking to the spoon, just kind of dip it into the oil first and then dip it into the batter. In that way, it will come out smoothly like this without a problem. Another thing, just make sure after the first batch, you're checking it inside just to ensure that it's cooking well. In that way, you will know how to adjust the heat. So I'm going to go ahead and finish everything up and I will catch you at the end. So guys, this is the amount that I got finally with two cups of flour. So guys, this is the finished product and take a look at the sauce. The sauce is so nice. And also the flowery. So we're going to take a look at the polari inside. I like it so soft. And it's nice and airy and fluffy in the inside. So let's try it. Look how amazing this is. Mm. And guys, this is mm -mm good. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.